Welcome to Geo Journey Explorers. Prepare to be spellbound as we set on a journey to witness nature's fury unleashed like never before. From the heart-stopping spectacle of a volcano surrendering to gravity, cascading molten lava in its wake, to the mesmerizing dance of fire against the night sky, painting a canvas of awe with city lights as its backdrop. Let's unveil some of the most jaw-dropping volcanic eruptions that etched their fiery mark in history, all captured by the lens of daring adventurers. If you are new to the channel, please click the subscribe button as we take you to the skyline of Italy's stunning Sicilian cities, which is dominated by the towering presence of Mount Etna, a majestic stratovolcano alive with fiery energy. Standing proud as the tallest peak in Italy south of the Alps, Mount Etna is a mesmerizing spectacle that draws in adventurers and photographers alike. Giuseppe De Stefano, a local Sicilian photographer, is a true aficionado of Mount Etna. He shares his passion for the volcano, offering breathtaking close-up shots and videos of its volcanic activities on his website, Etna Walk. In February 2017, Giuseppe captured footage that looked straight out of a Hollywood blockbuster, showcasing the lava descending down the mountain's slopes. The eruption wasn't just a show for the cameras, though. It posed real dangers, as highlighted by a BBC film crew who found themselves in the midst of Mount Etna's fury. Despite their efforts to capture the spectacle, they soon found themselves in a perilous situation, navigating through flying rocks and burning debris to reach safety. Giuseppe's nighttime shots of the eruption against the dark Italian sky are nothing short of magical. But amidst the beauty lies a stark reminder of nature's unpredictability and the risks associated with exploring such volatile landscapes. Yet Giuseppe's unwavering passion for Mount Etna continues to inspire, reminding us of the sheer awe and respect we hold for the forces of nature. Our next erupting volcano is located in Iceland, where just three weeks before the eruption, there was a big earthquake in the area, making everyone a bit nervous. But then things went quiet until one day, some folks saw a glowing light in the distance. And guess what? It wasn't aliens. It was the volcano waking up after 800 years. Everyone grabbed their cameras and dashed over to Fagrada's Viach to capture the once-in-a-lifetime show. Fagrada's Viach is the name of a volcano that popped up during the Ice Age, and it's also like the boss of a whole volcanic area that's about 3 by 10 miles wide. This place hadn't seen any fireworks for almost 800 years. Yeah, that's a long time. The volcano had been chilling out for like 6,000 years, minding its own business. But then, between 2019 and 2021, the ground started shaking with earthquakes like it was waking up from a long nap. Then, on March 19th, 2021, boom! The volcano decided it was time to party. A crack opened up in the Geldingadalir valleys, spitting out lava like it was going out of style. But lucky for us, nobody lived nearby, so nobody got hurt. Well, except for those camera crews who thought they could get a good shot. There's a ton of footage from Fagrada's Viach, but the coolest part is when the volcano starts falling apart while it's erupting. Lava is shooting out, and then suddenly, part of the volcano just collapses, sending a river of lava cascading down. It's like a fancy fountain that is playing with lava. Before we move forward, do us a favor by hitting the like and subscribe button. In a remote corner of southern Peru sits Mount Ubinas, a towering stratovolcano reaching a staggering height of 18,600 feet. Known for its restless nature, Mount Ubinas has become Peru's most active volcano, capturing the attention of scientists and adventurers alike. Its most notable eruption in recorded history dates back over a thousand years to 1082 AD when it unleashed a powerful explosion ranking a maximum of five on the Volcanic Explosivity Index. Fast forward to July 2023, and Mount Ubinas once again asserted its dominance with increased activity, spewing gas and ash clouds soaring over 18,000 feet into the sky. The billowing ash cloud stretched for miles, posing a significant threat to nearby towns and villages. 
Faced with this imminent danger, Peru declared a 60-day state of emergency, urging residents to seek shelter in specially constructed bunkers. But the concerns didn't end there. With Peru being the world's second largest copper producer, fears arose about the potential impact of a catastrophic eruption on the global copper industry. Both Peru and neighboring Chile, the leading copper producer, are intertwined with volcanic regions, making them vulnerable to the volatile whims of nature. Mount Ubinas's heightened activity since the turn of the century, with five confirmed eruptive periods lasting several years each, underscores the ongoing threat it poses. As experts closely monitor the volcano's behavior, the anticipation of further eruptions looms over 2024. Papua New Guinea is like a hotspot for active volcanoes, boasting a whopping 94 of them, more than any other country in the South Pacific. Back in 2014, adventurous couple Phil and Linda McNamara from Australia were vacationing there when they caught wind of possible volcanic action near Mount Tavurva. Excited at the prospect, they hopped on a boat to get a closer look. Lucky for them, they got front row seats to the mountain putting on a fiery show. Mount Tavurva has a history of explosive eruptions, with one in 1994 burying a nearby town in ash. Fortunately, this eruption wasn't as huge, but it was still mind-blowing. The initial blast shot ash high into the sky, creating a dramatic scene. As the shockwave rippled across the water, even the clouds above were pushed aside. Twelve seconds later, the boat felt the impact with a loud bang, but they kept filming capturing the mountain's raw power in all its glory. If you are enjoying this stunning journey of volcanic eruption, make sure to show your appreciation by liking the video as it really helps out the channel. Mount Kilauea, a 600,000-year-old volcano on Hawaii's Big Island, is quite the hot spot, literally. It's a shield volcano, which means it's kind of shaped like a warrior's shield and it's super popular with tourists because it's the most active of all the volcanoes in Hawaii. In fact, it's one of the most active volcanoes on the entire planet. Its most recent eruption kicked off in September 2021, but this isn't its first rodeo. Between 2008 and 2018, there was this crazy lava lake chilling out in Halamaumau Crater up on the summit, while over on the eastern rift zone, there were vents spewing out lava since way back in January 1983. Mount Kilauea isn't just some random mountain. It's a big deal in Hawaiian culture. Kilauea is pretty powerful and can be really destructive. In May 2018, things got pretty wild when lava started bursting out of over 20 vents in the lower Puna district. It wrecked Hawaii's biggest freshwater lake wiped out Leilani estates and caused chaos in a bunch of communities. Hundreds of homes vanished, and Hawaii Volcanoes National Park had to shut down the Kilauea section for months. Yep, Mount Kilauea might be beautiful, but it's definitely not to be messed with. In the Philippines, volcanoes are like neighbors. They're everywhere. Eruptions aren't exactly rare around here. On one of the many islands, there's this tall volcano. It had been quiet for ages, like 47 years, until January 12, 2020. Boom! It exploded out of the blue, spewing out gas, ash, and lava like there was no tomorrow. But here's the twist. Instead of the usual fluffy ash, this eruption was different. It rained down this heavy, wet ash that suffocated everything in its path. In just a couple of months, the once green island turned into something straight out of a desert movie or maybe even the moon. See, this volcanic ash isn't your typical stuff. It's made of these sharp rocks and glass bits that are tough as nails and don't dissolve in water. When they hit the ground, it's bad news for plants, animals, and people alike. The aftermath of the tall eruption was dreadful. The ash mixed with water, turning into this thick, muddy mess that eventually dried up like cement. It caused a lot of trouble from tragic deaths to wrecking local economies. It just shows us how nature can flip your life upside down in the blink of an eye. And that brings our volcanic journey to an end. If you like visiting unusual and stunning natural phenomenon, then sign up for more geographical journeys by simply hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.